All right, you wanna find your property lines, but you don't know where to start. Well, what we need to find is your deed. Now, if you already have your deed, then you can go to this video right here and see what to do next. Okay, wait, what's a deed? Sort of like a car title, but for property. If you don't have any paperwork, you can find it online. I'm gonna show you how. If you have a stack of papers, this is what you're looking for. It's gonna say the word deed on it somewhere. It's gonna have the date, state and county, buyer and seller's names, but they're gonna call them grantor and grantee. Consideration, which is basically the price, what you paid for it. It's gonna have a property description, cause that's what we're really looking for. And then it'll have signatures of the sellers with a notary, tax stamp on it, and then it'll have a book and page number. All right, we got D right here. We got our state, we got our county. Warranty deed, um, 1989, this old one. All right, we got the buyers and sellers listed in here. And this is clearly some kind of stamp they put on there. That's your tax stamp. And then the thing we're looking for is right here. This is our property description, beginning at an iron, la, 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 la. And there is book and page number. It's right down here. All right, then there's another page, bunch of signatures, notaries. Then we got another little stamp about the attorney who prepared it, la la la. Yeah. All right, here's another one, and it's all in one page from 1974. But look, here it says deed. It's real small, but it says deed right there. We got everybody's names. We got our property description up here. Got some fun signatures and stamps, book and page number. I mean, yeah, it's all here. All right, here's a cool one. It says quick claim deed. All right, we still got deed. We still got our stamps here, you know, our name. Clearly, they just printed this out online and filled it out. You can totally do that. It's still legal, you know, because it has all our signatures and our book and page number. Here we have another one. It looks a little bit more professional, you know, with our stamps and everything's typed and stuff, but it still says quick claim deed. Your buyers and sellers, witnesses, la la la. Yep, here's our description. Our signatures and stamps and notaries. Book and page. If you can't find any papers, your deed will still be recorded at your local register of deeds office. Now, it's 2022, a lot of stuff is online now, but if your county doesn't have records online, then you will have to go down to the office. We'll get to that in a minute. What you're gonna do is go online and search for your local register of deeds office. Is it put in the county name or the municipality name and register of deeds office? So you should be able to find where you can search property records. When you get that pulled up, most of the time you can plug in a name and search by name and find your deed. If you can't find your name, try different spellings or try the name of someone else who might also have been on the deed. If it still doesn't come up or maybe you don't know whose names it's supposed to be in, you can also try a GIS. That means Geographic Information Systems. It's basically an online map. Let me show you how. Okay, you're gonna go to your Google search bar and I'm gonna type in Nash, North Carolina, GIS, because that's where I'm searching. GIS, Nash County Official. It looks pretty good, because you see where it's got G-O-V, that's what we want. All right, so we're on the website, but connect, GIS, we do want to connect to it, so we're gonna click here, connect. Oh, this is good. They're always gonna come up with this disclaimer page. Okay, so we accept yes. This is a picture of what Nash County looks like. I'll search things that we can search by over here. We have owner, address. For an example, we're gonna use this house that's owned by a nonprofit like a church, and we're gonna plug in their name and see what comes up. The name of this church is Jesus. Christ, non-denominational, all oh, non-denominational holiness church. You see how that was abbreviated. So that's how spellings can get funny. And, and then in this particular site, you have to actually go ahead and click this little magnifying glass. So when now it's zoomed in to the properties that it owns and down here, it's pulled up a list of them. So it's a couple of them. The one I was thinking of, 335 South Grace Street. Now in this application, you can go over here and just zoom in, which is what I clicked on that, and so here it is. I could have also come up right here in my address search bar, and I could have typed 335 
south Gray Street and then hit my little search magnifying glass and boom it came up with that one and what you gotta do then on this one is you gotta kind of zoom in here really kind of slow it takes a minute then to click on it what you have to do is you have to go over to this little info button right here click that to change your cursor out and then you go and click here on the highlighted parcel now what it does is it gives you the information. Up top, this site has a nice little link. R-O-D means register a deed for deed lookup. We could click that right there. But if yours doesn't, uh, this site also, if you kind of scroll down, you see right here, it has deed book and page. So if we had to go down to the office in person and look it up, we would be looking up uh, that book and page number. But we're online. Let's click our link and see what happens right here. Look, here we have the Nash County, North Carolina Register of Deeds up here. And it's immediately pulled up the record. Kind of deed, it's a deed because all kinds of things can be recorded in your Register of Deeds office. So here's our book and page number. And this website lets you go ahead and click on the image. So we're gonna click on that one right here, image. It says three for three pages. So here's our first page. And we can scroll down and that's the entire document here. All right, so we're looking for our description, right? So we're gonna scroll down and see if it's on this page. Witnesseth, la, 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 la. Oh, here we go. So yeah, being known as 335 South Gray Street, beginning at a stake in the Easter property line. Okay, so this is our description, and this is what we would use to find our property lines. If your GIS website doesn't have a fun link to the actual deed, and it doesn't have the book and page number for you to look it up, then what I want you to do is pay special attention to the owner's name and how they spelled it exactly because that is what you're gonna to wanna to enter into the Register of Deeds website to do another search. But if it does give you the book and page number, try to enter it that way as well. So here I've got Nash County Register of Deeds that I've searched. And here's some links. Let's try this first one. Got register of deeds. I'm gonna scroll down and see. I'm gonna click here online and we found it. So let's plug in that name. Jesus. Let's just start there. Just Jesus Christ, right? And let's search. I like to click like a directory because when that shows up all the listings. Okay. Just look at all of them. Get documents. And again, yours might look different. Okay, so this is everything that they have. If we're not sure which address or which one, we can start clicking over here on the right. We can start clicking each one of these and reading them and seeing if that's the one that we want. If we don't wanna search by name, we can also search by deed, book, and page. 2414 and then page 435. So I'm gonna go back up here into my other tab. And then I'm gonna find book and page right here and we are plugging in our book and page number and it was 2414435, is that right? And then search. Okay, yep, so it came up that way as well. So that's another way that you can search online if you have the book and page number, it's a lot easier. Now, if when you're searching, your website doesn't allow you to view that actual image, I have seen it where some states and some offices require you to pay online to view it. I kinda think that's messed up. Then write down the book and page number and take it down to the actual Register of Deeds office and you can look it up in person that way. Hold up now, what if your family has owned this land for like, I don't know, 95 years? Your records might not be in an up-to-date system like this, because it costs money to have all this stuff cataloged and scanned and put in online. So you gotta understand how these things were recorded. Generally it was just a book and whoever was next in line and it was written down that way. And the way they would find them was with an index. So you may have to find an online index books in your Register of Deeds search site. And in that particular case, you would plug in the last name of the person who was either buying or selling, and you have to search tediously through years to find an entry of a book and page number. I'll show you an example. So what we're gonna do is go to online index books and search that way. So I'm gonna click that. 
All right, now you see where it's got indexes to deeds, mortgages, and trusts, 1777 through 1969. Well, if your grandpa owned this land for 100 years, that's a whole lot longer before 1969. So he's gonna be in here. You may have to designate grantor and grantee, that's gonna be buyer and seller, so it can get a little tedious. So we're gonna say he's grantee. Which one's which? Grantee means you're the buyer. Grand, okay. Grantor means you granted it, means you sold it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go with Norfleet. Like okay, so here it pulls up general index to transfers of land. And it's got when Norfleet, anybody with the last name Norfleet was a grantee, and it starts at the very, very beginning. So go all the way over to the right. Look, it's got the earliest one that any Norfleet purchased in Nash County was 1874. And what it's showing is that the grantor in this case was this John Tillery, and the Norfleet that bought it was John, but there's also a Benjamin, and then a JW, and a John W. Maybe there's the same guy, maybe that's his son, but you sometimes have to like check all these out. So let's do this first one. So Norfleet, and we've got John is the first one, and he bought something from John Tillery. And it's got book 27, page 442. All right, so we're gonna go up here in our search, because our search is the same page. And so we're gonna scroll down. Book 27, page 442. Search. Wow, okay, check it out. This is super old, all right. If y'all don't read cursive, this might be real tough for you. Whereas John Norfleet Clark of the Superior Court of Edgecombe County. So here it is, here's our deed. It's not all these pages. We're gonna have to be able to like read through of the right and see how far it goes down. And okay, it looks like it continues. So we have to go click the next page over here and keep on going until we feel like we've got all the pages. Oh, here's some signatures. So yeah, this is gonna be the end of it. What if you're still having problems and you still can't find it? Well, not all of these deeds are gonna be imaged and online and available because, you know, it's budget problems. But hopefully those indexes will be online and you can search those and find the book and page number and you just take that down to your Registrar of Deeds office and look it up in person. You just go in there and you literally pull that book number and turn to that page and it'll be there. What if you get your deed and it doesn't really have a property description? It says this property that is more properly described in a survey that was done and in a book and page. Okay, well, it gave you the book and page number where it was actually described a little bit better because you know, we all get lazy. You can take that book and page number and plug it into your search and find that deed where it does have the full description. Wait, I don't have a book and page number. I don't have any, I don't have anything. Okay, this is what your Register of Deeds office is for. You can go down there. Every one I've ever been to, they're really, really nice. And think of it this way, it's public record. So it's not some secret locked up in a vault kind of stuff. They have to give you the information and they will help you. Now that you actually have your deed and that property description in your hands, you can click on my video right here and figure out exactly how to walk your property lines.